In this video, we're going to talk about the desktop app for QuickBooks Online. What in the world? So quick background, QuickBooks Online is mostly used in a browser. You can use Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox. You log in into QuickBooks Online, and that's how you use QuickBooks. That's how most people use QuickBooks. This is what you have here or in front of you. This is just basically a website, a browser. However, Intuit has developed a desktop app, both for Mac and PC, that you can use to open QuickBooks from the app. Now, all the features are essentially the same, supposed to be the same. The difference is that with the app, they can change the experience. So again, this is the browser that you're seeing here, and then this is the app. Now, you can zoom in and zoom out as well if you kind of see that the one looks a little bit bigger than the other. Okay, there you go. So you can zoom in, you can zoom out. So essentially, the experiences are going to be the same. You can collapse the left navigation bar and expand it. Click on the new button. You can click on the gear menu. Same thing, back to the browser. Expand and collapse the left navigation bar, new button, and gear menu. Okay, so the navigation is going to be identical. But there's a couple of things that fundamentally change the way you use QuickBooks when you're in the desktop app. Number one, uh, the tabs are sort of self-sustained. They're inside of this app, whereas in, in a browser, the, the way browsers work, tabs can be split out. You can do multiple things with them. You can put them across different screens. It's just a different experience uh, per se. But I can, I can create a new tab just like I can on a browser here. And now I have two active tabs. I got tab one and tab two. So in tab one, I can be, for example, I can be creating an invoice, just an example. And then while that loads, I'm going to go to tab two. And then on tab two, I can have, let's say, a profit and loss report. Now that's no big deal, okay? You, you were able to do this in, um, in a regular browser. Like we can come in here in the regular browser. We can duplicate tabs here, and then one can be in an invoice, and the other one can be in a profit and loss report. So I haven't showed you anything new, anything different. I'm just starting to contextualize why you would choose the app versus the browser. Now, I personally think the browser is much faster because I'm just so used to already working in the browser. I already have other tabs open. So like loading a whole another application I think it adds a little bit of strain in your computer, but depending on the type of computer you have, that might not be an issue. So there we go. We, we got our multiple tabs here. If I switch back to my browser, I can hit Control Tab on my keyboard and swap through tabs. If I go back into the desktop app, Control Tab doesn't do that. So that's kind of a, in my opinion, something fundamentally missing from the like just the way I'm used to using. Um, the way I'm used to using tabs. Anyway, let's talk about some of the really cool things that you get with the desktop app. Number one, you get this thing here called desktop view. And what desktop view does is it get, gets rid of the, of the basic left navigation bar and it changes the interface. It doesn't, doesn't add new functionality or anything. It changes the interface and then it gives you what looks a lot like the QuickBooks desktop homepage. It gives you all the icons like these are my vendor transactions, these are my customer transactions, these are my banking transactions. So they're basically trying to appease the, the folks that are moving from QuickBooks Desktop into QuickBooks Online. The left navigation bar also changes. You can uh, collapse and expand as well, but it changes, it's, it's just different, okay? And if I zoom in and zoom out, the left navigation bar is not part of what zooms in and zooms out. So that's just how they designed it. You, you take your pick, you figure out if you like that or not. Okay, um, then we have a couple of uh, buttons here we can press. We have the snapshot, which we can get to through the through the regular um, browser anyway. Cash, uh, cash flow hub, uh, creating a check, banking. So you just fundamentally see buttons uh, set up different, right? Like for example, if I go back into the browser and I wanted to, let me just go back into the home screen here. If I wanted to create a check, there's no like check button here. I have to click on new and then go to check. So this desktop view uh, kind of adds 
the most common areas or transactions you get into, and that's customizable. So I can click here on the little edit button, okay? And then in the edit button, now I could choose anything I wanna add. So if I wanna add a bill, for example, there are bills in here. Okay, so bills are here. And uh, they say tasks are here, and receipts, and reconcile, and rules, chart of accounts. So you could just add things in there, and now you see them in your sort of like shortcuts list. Now, to be fair, going back to the browser, you can also click on that uh, menu settings, go to customize menu, and you could also add uh, certain things from here. Not 100% sure if um, what you can add here is the same thing as you can add in the in the desktop um, app for QuickBooks Online. I'm gonna make the assumption that it does, but you know, if you can correct me in the comment section if that's the case. So it's just changing the navigation, the experience. Now, the other really cool thing about it is you get a menu style actions in the top, just like you used to do with desktop. So if you click on lists, you can go to chart of accounts, items, customers, vendors, classes. So if you're used to kind of looking up and looking at a top menu, that could be useful because um, you know many of us are creatures of habit. And if we use desktop applications for a very long time, we look up and look at those menus. So I wanna go into the customer center, I wanna go into receive payments, whatever it is, I can do that by looking up, clicking on those drop-down menus, and it opens up the same, same transaction you would be opening up if you were using the traditional, uh, let me just close this out, traditional uh, new button and then going into the transaction. So again, no new functionality, just changes how you navigate uh, QuickBooks Online um, uh, fully, right? So I'm gonna go back into desktop view here, just swap back into that because that's really the novel piece of this. Reports are also interesting. You click on the reports menu and then your reports are organized in sub menus. People like that a lot. That's the way reports used to be organized in QuickBooks Desktop. I would venture to say this is probably the biggest delighter for me is being able to quickly go through menus and sub menus instead of having to scroll up and down when I go look in reports. Right now, if I wanna go look at a report in the browser, I go into reports and then I have to scroll up and scroll down or find the report, but also I can search the report anyway. So, uh, I mean, once we know how to search reports, uh, we don't need, we don't really need to, um, you know, go up, you know, go scroll up and down. However, sometimes you want to discover, you want to go, hmm, sales. Oh, what's in sales? Hmm, accounts. I mean, uh, uh, payables, uh, vendors. What's in there? So that drop down experience of being able to drill down in menus is something that we're used to um, as heavy desktop users of any sort of application. Okay. Now another really cool thing here is if I open up a whole bunch of Things. So for example, I'm gonna open up a check, but I'm gonna go to uh, open a new window or new tab. So if I click on open a new tab, it opens a new tab. If I go into banking, right click, open a new tab. Again, you can do this with um, with regular browser as well. I can right click and, and and get the my regular browser menu and open a new, new tab. So not a novel new feature, just kind of showing you how that works. Now in um, in a in a in a standard browser, you can click and drag the tab out and move it to another screen or move it somewhere else. In the desktop app, you don't really get to do that. Like you can you can click and drag them to change the order or where they're supposed to be, uh, but you can't like click and drag them out. However, you can actually click on any of these functions here. So let's say expense tracker, right click, and then I can click on open a new window. And essentially, when you do open a new window, that does give you the feel that you uh, plug that tab out and then you can move this to the screen on the left, screen on the right, whatever it happens to be. So you do, in all fairness, get the ability to open uh, new windows. It's just not the same feeling of just like pulling the tabs out. And unfortunately, once the tab is created, I can't like click, right click on the tab or uh, go into a new window from here. You have to uh, right click on something and go into open a new window. It's like I haven't figured out how to do it in any other way. Now, once you have a whole bunch of tabs open, sometimes it's hard to keep track of what, um, what, what, what you have open. And these titles are not very useful. Sometimes it just shows you random things up in the titles. So sometimes it's useful to click on this little nifty little, um, I don't know what to call this, uh, open tabs window. What this does is it opens up 
a list of all the things that you have open. So it's very, very cool. Now, um, that was kind of sort of inspired by another application called Write Tool that I developed like two years ago. But then again, besides the point. Um, but what's cool about this is when you, when you hover over these, you get like a little picture, like a little uh, preview of the screen. Sometimes that's useful, sometimes it's not, depending on, on the context really. So that's pretty cool. I, I like that because you can just click on any of these and you can open up those tabs. And you can also uh, click on X on any of them and close those particular tabs. You can't change the order of them here. You would have to change them in the top. So if you do change them on the top and then you uh, open and close that, they, they should be changed in order here as well. Okay. So that's really from the core functionality. That's all it is. But they recently added something I really, really like, which is called split screen. And that's the only reason I'm making this video because I don't use a desktop app. I would never use a desktop app. I would always use a browser because I like using browser extensions. I like using Chrome extensions. And I'll give you a, um, uh, an example of that in a little bit, just so you can understand, oh, okay, that's why I much prefer to use a browser. This uh, QuickBooks Online desktop app is a closed system. You can't add any uh, browser extensions to it. So you're sort of stuck with, you know, how the tools that, that are given to you right in front of you. But this one feature could make me a believer. <laughs> this is called split screen. It's really cool. So you click on split screen and eventually it just, exactly what it says, you splits it into two screens. So sometimes, and I'm just gonna X out a couple of these things. So uh, sometimes what you have is you have one screen that maybe has a uh, profit and loss report or something like that. So I'm gonna go into reports and look at my profit and loss. And then I'll click on my split screen again. And on the second screen, I get to search what I want. So I'm going to put here uh, maybe balance sheet or something like that. So I'll type balance sheet until I get to find my uh, balance sheet report. Okay. And then we have essentially my balance sheet on the right-hand side and my profit and loss on the left-hand side. Now I can collapse this uh, navigation bar, and it's just really neat that I can have these two things. Now, they've kind of, in my opinion, kind of missed the mark on this. There's a lot of like, scrolling up and down and sideways. Um, it's not really clear to the user, like, okay, how do I navigate this fully? How do I, you know, scroll uh, right and left? I mean, the, I, I happen to have a trackpad, which is a little bit easier for me to scroll um, up and down and right and left, but they, they got some work to do uh, in that sort of scrolling experience. Sometimes you have to kind of like zoom in and zoom out to maybe be able to get everything you want to get. Um, but they, I think they have the right idea. This is a really uh, cool, interesting uh, concept is to have these split screen view. Again, the reason why I'm making this video is because I'm like, hmm, there, there's something I don't really have with a browser. I can't, I don't have a split, like a clean split screen view. Now, technically I could go to a, a browser here and I can, you know, essentially have one tab pull it out, as I mentioned earlier, and then I could change the size of that, and then I can move it here to the, to the right, and then I can grab my other tab and change the size of that and pull it to the left. So yeah, could you do that? Absolutely. There isn't really a like one-click split view, only split my, my two uh, QuickBooks uh, tabs. That's kind of not there. That's not um, how... Um, how uh, QuickBooks is, I mean, how browsers are configured, but you can achieve the same thing uh, manually, okay? And then you can do your zoom ins and zoom outs <clears throat> to figure out exactly how you wanna, how you wanna arrange your, um, your reports or your tabs. So you could achieve the same thing with browsers. So this is just using a regular browser, but I, I kind of liked the concept of the split screen view um, and then navigating through that. So I think, I truly think there's something really interesting there. Now, I mentioned earlier that I would never use the app. I've never used the app in day to day because I like using Chrome extensions. So my favorite Chrome extension is one that I developed. It's called Write Tool. So if I go to writetool.app, I'll put links in the description. 
if I go there, there should be a link right there that takes me to the Chrome extension page where I can just simply just um, enable or install my right tool um, extension. So once the right tool extension opens, and there's all sorts of extensions for different websites or different use cases. Right tool happens to be an extension exclusively, specifically for QuickBooks Online. And right tool opens up a right navigation bar. And again, you have to be in Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, you have to be in a Chromium based browser for this to work. This is never gonna work in a desktop app, or at least I don't think Intuit will ever allow third party apps like right tool to come in and change the desktop app experience because a desktop app experience is supposed to be a very controlled environment that Intuit wants to make sure that uh, people use QuickBooks the way QuickBooks is designing it. However, uh, people like me sort of rebel against that concept and say, you know what, I want to build my own experience. So we developed Right Tool, which is a right navigation bar, and it has a whole bunch of features. There's other videos that can talk about that, but I just want to make the point that if you want to use a Chrome extension like this or like many Chrome extensions that exist out there, um, then you want to stick with browser base. And it's worth mentioning, I have an actual Chrome extension that can do split screens. So this one is called um, Tab Resize, by Peter, D-O-T-J-S or whatever it is. It's a free Chrome extension. And you just click up here and then you click on a uh, little split screen. It's got multiple types of split screen. And then it does the split screening for you. And after the split screen is done, then you can click and drag your tabs into whichever side it is. So we, I did that with a Chrome extension. It just kind of, and that's kind of the point is that, yeah, the desktop app is super powerful, but Chrome extensions can add a lot more power. Now I want to mention, I think the value proposition of the desktop app is really cool. It's getting, it's getting there. The developers are working in all sorts of things. I personally feel a browser is still faster. And I personally think um, a browser combined with a Chrome extension could be more powerful. And the speed in which a third party can develop versus what Intuit can, is just um, cannot be compared. Anyway, I do recommend you to go seek out the desktop app. I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can download the desktop app and try it. Any version of QuickBooks Online you have will work. It will allow you to use the app. Um, you know what? I forgot one thing. There's a really, really important piece to this, which is the, the multi-company configuration. So for example, I'm gonna get off of split screen for a second and then just go to regular tab. This is the one thing that the going back to the desktop app that QuickBooks developed, this stuff could be more powerful. So you can create a, sep a second tab and then in that tab, you can change to a different company. So like I'm an accountant and I have access to multiple clients that I can access. So this one happens to be in a company called Pandal Corporation, but then I can switch this to another company. So I'm just gonna click on the drop down menu and switch to this one called Simple Start Sample. And essentially, it doesn't log me out of the other company, something you cannot do with the browser. With a browser, you have to use multiple Chrome extensions. Technically, you can have uh, you know, one tab, not really one tab, one window that is logged into one file and another window that's logged into another file within the universe of, um, let's just go here to, let's say, Invoice Tracker. So within the universe of working with multiple uh, company files, this is where the, the desktop app for QuickBooks Online kind of wins. Because I can be on one tab on one company file. Let's go to the income tracker here. So on this tab, I got this, um, this company file with all the sales. In this other tab, I have a different company file with all the sales. And essentially, I didn't have to log out of one or the other. So I would say there's a huge edge. Now for split screen, if I click on um, split screen, the way split screen works is not uh, split like one of your screens is gonna be one company file and the other screen is gonna be the other company file. Split screen is still within the same logged in file. So keep that in mind that you can't have, at least not yet, you can't have half of it in one file and the other half on the other file. So if I split screen, it's the same company file, but if I have multiple tabs, those could indeed be multiple company files, which as I mentioned, this is an edge. Uh, no browser can do this 
just the way browser security works, it can do it unless you use multiple Chrome extensions. I mean, sorry, multiple Chrome users. And I will add a, uh, a video explaining how multiple Chrome users work so you can see how you could do that in, um, in Google Chrome. Anyway, I hope this was uh, helpful. I encourage you to, to go try it, give them feedback, and I'll see you in the next one.